We begin this day with a prayer. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Hallelujah. For he who you did marry to bear Hallelujah. has risen as he said. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. For, for the Lord has risen indeed. Hallelujah. Pray to God for us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother the joys of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Consecration to Mary, Mother of God, my Queen and my Mother, I give myself entirely to you and show my devotion to you. I consecrate you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Therefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep and guard me as your property and possession. Amen. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you, brothers and sisters. Today is the 29th day of our consecration to Jesus through our blessed mother, Saint Louis de Montfort. For four weeks, we have been reflecting on what Marian consecration is all about. And we have covered a lot of material. While our prayer program of daily pondering, the test has helped us digest some of the information. We can still go deeper. To do this, we need what Pope John Paul II calls Mary's wise capacity for remembering and embracing in a single gaze of faith. We can develop this wise capacity by continuing what we have been doing all along, namely pondering in our hearts, but now with a more refined focus. To give us this more refined focus for each week of the retreat, I have chosen three words that summarize a given week's teaching. So over the next four days, we will reflect on three words each day. Pondering their meaning for Marian consecration. I am confident that if we dedicate ourselves to this more refined prayer pondering, we will be able to embrace the truth of Marian consecration in a single gaze of faith. After these four days of review, we will find a synthesis of what we have learned in a single formula of consecration that aims to capture the essence of Marian consecration. Three words summarize what we have learned from 
Saint Louis de Montfort. First, passion. Second, baptism. And third, gift. Let us ponder each one in turn. Passion. Recall that Saint Louis inherited his father's fiery temper. This could have left, led to disaster. But Louis consecrated himself to Jesus through Mary. He allowed Mary to take charge of his life and to do with him as she willed. And what did Mary do with him? She set him on fire. She transformed his unholy anger into a blazing holy fire. She acted with her spouse, the Holy Spirit, to fill St. Louis with passion and zeal for Christ. And he proceeded to set all of Brittany on fire with love for Jesus, incarnate wisdom. And not only in Brittany, Saint D. Montfort's inspiring teaching blazed through the centuries, igniting saints, popes, and even poor sinners with a burning love for God. We may not have been born with Saint Louis' fiery temper, but we could all use a portion of his zealous spirit. We could all use a greater outpouring of the Holy Spirit who stares souls into flame and fills them with the holy fire. How do we invite this fire? How do we call it, call it down? By imitating Saint Louis de Montfort's example of going to Mary, depending on Mary and being with Mary, for as Louis himself says, when the Holy Spirit, Mary's spouse, finds a soul united to Mary, the Holy Spirit flies there. He enters there in his fullness. He communicates himself to that soul abundantly and to the full extent to which it makes room for his spouse. The Holy Spirit wants to work his wonders, brothers and sisters, even in our day. He wants to raise up new saints. He wants to raise up great saints. Why? Then does he do so? So rarely. According to St. Louis de Montfort, it is because he rarely finds in us a sufficiently great union with Mary, our blessed mother. In this final stretch, that leads to consecration day, may we go with great zeal to give ourselves completely to Mary and allow the Holy Spirit to fly to us and fill us with his holy passion and fire. Baptism. St. Louis places his devotion to Mary squarely within the mystery of Christ. The best example of this is how he begins his formula of our consecration with a renewal of baptismal vows. For baptism is all about Christ. At baptism, we are transformed into members of the body of Christ made into other Christ. Baptism also has to do with the Holy Spirit. I say this 
because it was the holy spirit who first formed christ and it is the holy spirit who continues to form other christ the members of christ's body at every baptism now who does the holy spirit use to form christ he uses mary even though he has no absolute need of her so for example he made use of mary at the annunciation which led to the birth of jesus our savior he made use of mary just before pentecost which led to the birth of the body of christ the church pentecost is the birthday of the church he makes use of mary at every baptism which gives birth to other christ the members of his body the holy spirit always make use of mary to give birth to christ and the more he finds a soul that is united to mary the more active and mighty holy spirit becomes in producing jesus christ in that soul and that soul in christ jesus it is fitting then that Saint Louis de Montfort has us renew our baptismal promises in the context of giving ourselves to Mary for it is her job with the holy spirit to bring the grace of baptism to its fulfillment baptism is not the end It is a marvelous beginning a glorious new morning yes it transforms us making us into members of Christ's body but there is more work to be done baptism is an already but not yet reality it already makes us into Christ as a member of his body but not fully formed in Christ after baptism we still have to grow in Christ and it is Mary's job to oversee and nurture this growth with the spirit thus there is no question of saint louis de montfort's devotion to mary taking us away from Christ Mary's whole goal is to lead us to Christ and to bring us to the point where we can say with St Paul it is no longer i that live but Christ we read in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 the whole God of true devotion to Mary is our ongoing post baptismal transformation in Christ gift if only we have the courage to give ourselves completely to Mary then we will experience my Marian consecration as an incredible gift Moreover the more we give ourselves to her the more we will experience the greatness of this gift we give and she gives back infinitely more we give our mother our sinful selves and she gives us her immaculate heart we give her our own meager merits and she not only increases and purifies them with her perfect love but give us her infinitely greater merits and graces 
we become empty after having given her all and she fills us with the spirit of god she cares for our family our friends and loved ones on our behalf even better than we ourselves can she anticipates our needs and orders every detail of our lives for the greater glory of god the path of holiness with her is a path of roses and honey compared to walking it without being consecrated to her indeed she makes even our crosses and trials into something sweet something better moreover she protects us from temptation and the attack of the evil one belonging completely to mary is the quickest easiest and surest way to jesus our lord if we were to fully realize how great a gift consecration to jesus through mary is we would almost never stop smiling and praising god for giving it today's prayer spend the day pondering saint louis de montfort's marian teaching as it is summarized by these three words passion baptism and gift let us pray o most blessed mother heart of love heart of mercy ever listening caring consoling hear our prayer as your children we implore your intercession with jesus your son receive with understanding and compassion the petitions we place before you today especially brothers and sisters we bring all our intentions all our needs to our blessed mother we remember all those who make consecrations these days we are comforted in knowing your heart is ever open to those who ask for your prayer we entrust your gentle care and intercession those whom we love and who are sick or lonely or hurting help all of us holy mother to bear our burdens in this life until we may share eternal life and peace with god our father forever amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us in it now and at the hour of our death amen Immaculate heart of Mary pray for us Most sacred heart of Jesus have mercy on us Most precious blood of Jesus protect us And may the blessing of almighty God descend upon each one of you and remain with you forever the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit May the Lord bless you brothers and sisters and protect you and thank you for joining with us today